Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming, we're finally checking out Among Trees, a gorgeous little survival game that I've been following for quite some time. In this game, we are going to have to survive, build and gather stuff, even craft stuff, and I'm really excited to see what this is all about. Now, I haven't been playing this at all, I just got my hands on a copy here, so let's jump straight into the game here and see what it's all about. Let's do this. Alright, so apparently we got the option to play standard. There are a few dangerous animals for the best all-around game experience. Zen, don't dangerous animals. If you don't deal with if you don't deal well with tingling bear encounters, this mode is for you. <laughs> well, I'm definitely gonna go with the standard here and uh, see what this is all about. And also you have to look for food sometimes, but there's still plenty to go around. Uh, I'm not gonna go on hard. This is definitely going to be a really challenging survival test. And I'm definitely not going to go with easy mode here because this might actually be a little bit too easy. Let's just go with normal and see what the game has to throw at us. Alright, there we go. Wow, I love it how we wake up though. This is so cool. <laughs> Man, ever since I saw the trailers of the game, I knew that this game is going to be really gorgeous. I mean, look at this. This so far is the most beautiful survival game I've ever played, that's for sure. Sticks. Alright, there we go. Fire. Interesting. Press tap to open your backpack. Aw oh, man, the UI is so good. Really loving the look of this game so far. Okay, so I'm guessing whenever you're holding down shift, uh, we are going to consume some stamina. Man, there's so much stuff around here. Let me grab everything I need then. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to need, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make a fire. And from the looks of it, I'm pretty sure we're also going to have to build our home here. Uh, currently, I see that we only have a small shack. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have to make this one look a little bit better. Alright, so this one is definitely going to be our first mission, right? Oh, look at this. Wow, as we get close to it, we actually see the UI implementation. This is so cool. No items. Uh, fur plank and 5 out of 10 sticks. Interesting. So we definitely need to find a lot more stuff in order to get this going. So let me just grab all the sticks and what we need. There we go. I wonder if we have a backpack right now and a limit on the backpack, of course. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. Oh man. Loving the colors of the game, though. It's really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Definitely the type of game I love sharing on this channel, that's for sure. Alright, uh, what do we need? We need uh, two more sticks. 9 out of 10, and we need one more. Uh, any more sticks right here? There we go, I think I see them. Alright, and I'm pretty sure we're also going to have night and day cycles, right? Pretty sure about that. Uh, let me grab this stick as well. Why the heck not? I'm also really curious to know how big the map is going to be. Uh, press F2 to submit feedback. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to do that just yet. Alright, let's see. Build. Oh, look at that. I think we actually built up the cabin. Features unlocked. We can now sleep in inside here. We can save our progress. And we can also store stuff. Put things you don't need at the moment in the storage box. Cooking room, crafting room, and storage attic. Oh, these are going to be the next extensions. I get it. That is so cool. Can I actually go inside? Yes, we can. No way. And I believe this is where we uh, build up the extensions. Yeah, look at this. So we are going to need fire planks, driftwoods, and bolts. Quite a lot of stuff. For this extension, we need stump moss, steel wire, fur planks... Damn, we're gonna have a lot of stuff that we gotta collect. And we can also save the progress. Look at that. Game saved. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is where we store stuff, right? Yeah, let's just store all this stuff. I'm pretty sure uh, we cannot eat that stuff unless we cook it. So let me make my way out of here and uh, keep exploring. I mean, the thing is I don't really have a map here and I may easily get lost if I don't pay attention. I don't even have a compass or anything. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm not going to get lost, though. 
Man, but this looks wonderful. I'm really loving this. Black mulberries. I gotta pay attention though. I don't wanna eat something that's gonna poison me. Oh, never mind. The uh, the house is actually gonna pop up. Whatever we go, so we're not gonna get lost, which is great. Interesting. Alrighty then. I'm not gonna be worried then about getting lost. We can easily just go exploring. Now, I am a little bit worried because <laughs> we chose a normal difficulty, which means we are going to have some enemies. So, I may need to pay attention on that. Huh. What do we got here? Lockpick required. Oh, so this one is locked. We are going to have to open it, open it up somehow. Uh, also, I think I'm going to need a hatchet in order to open this up. Interesting. All right, let's keep looking around. Let's see what else. Hmm. Ooh. We got some tree shrooms. I wonder, can I eventually... Oh, no, we cannot climb this. All right, anyway. I'll get all the stuff we can get here. Uh, we also have a fireplace. Search. Ooh, we got nails and old rags. Interesting. Uh, this one, we're going to need the hatchet to break it open. Search this one as well. Let's see. Old rags, nails. Man, I think I'm going to actually be able to extend our house pretty soon because we're finding a lot of stuff here. Uh, lockpick require. Let's grab that. This one needs a lockpick as well. Look at this. Some rope. Some more steel pipes. I don't know exactly what happened here, but uh, there's quite a lot of stuff that, we, that we're grabbing. Look at that. More rope. And more things we can search. Alright, that is awesome. Now, if you guys want to check this game out, it is available currently on, on the Epic Store. I will leave some links down below. But I do feel like it's coming on... I do believe that it's coming on Steam as well really soon. Um, and of course, it's only available for PC at the moment. And as you guys can see at the very top here, it says that this is the this is a pre-alpha version of the game. So this means that we are gonna probably encounter some bugs here and there. Hopefully they're not gonna be game breaking though, and uh, we are gonna be able to enjoy this. But I mean, oh my god, this looks so gorgeous. This definitely reminds me a little bit of Firewatch. <laughs> oh. Look at that, there's a rabbit! And apparently we can also... ...be a little bit stealthy here. Which I really, really love. Unfortunately, we don't really have any tools in order to catch those rabbits, create some food. Uh, the thing is, I am kind of starving here. Hmm... I don't know what, what I'm gonna be able to do about food, though. Let me just look around. We actually find some good food around. I'm afraid to eat mushrooms, though. Really afraid to eat mushrooms. Just because I don't know which one is good and which one is bad. Yellow ash leaves, eventually full. Oh, seriously? Hmm. Well, at least we got ourselves some more mulberries. Alright, let me make my way back home. Let me go and drop some of this stuff. Uh, we definitely don't need to carry all this stuff. Oh, hold up. We got some moss. The thing is, I don't really want to... Dang it. I really don't want to drop anything. And I wish I could put a marker here on the map. Oh, God. We're starving. Uh, let me go back home. Let me go back home and try to figure this out. Let me grab that as well. Hopefully, we can eat some of those berries, though, and don't poison ourselves. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is wonderful, guys. Really loving this. Do let me know if you tried playing this game so far. I mean, again, I know that this game has been out uh, quite a while ago, but I just managed to get my hands on it and uh, test it out. So let's see, can we actually build something here? No, we still need a lot more. So let me just put in this, this, uh, this, nails, all the stuff that we cannot really use at the moment. 
Alright, other than this... Oh, we also have clothing! Look at this! Cold resistance, stamina, speed, camouflage... Seriously? So we're gonna be able to get ourselves better backpacks and stuff. That is so cool. Alright, um, now, I wonder, how do I eat? Can I actually put the berries? Let's see, black mulberries, stack limit 15. These large berries are a perfect mix of sweet and tart. You can eat them raw, but they're more nutritious when cooked. Well, the problem is I don't really know how to cook stuff because... Maybe because we don't have a kitchen? Eat, eat, eat. Uh, the cellulite fungi will help satisfy your hunger. You can eat them raw, but they're more nutritious when cooked. Uh, chance of poison. Oh god, so these ones are poisonous, the dotty mushrooms. Can be eaten raw, alright. And these ones are not poisonous. We can definitely cook them. So we definitely need to start learning how to cook. Oh, hold up. Is it getting nighttime? Because it looks like things are changing. Oh my god. This is definitely the sunset. Look at this place. What the heck? Are you kidding me? What? Man, this game is so gorgeous. I'm really excited about this game though, to tell the truth. I'm really excited to see what the developers are gonna bring to it. Man, I'm loving this. Alright, let me make my way inside the house here. And uh, get some sleep. Start up a new day. Alright, day two. I have a feeling, as we keep surviving here, we may actually, um, we may actually encounter more and more enemies, maybe, and uh, the game is gonna get more and more difficult, that's for sure. Alright, so we have a big problem. We are starving right now. Oh, I really wish I could grab some of those rabbits. They're gonna be really tasty. Uh, we are gonna have to start looking for some more berries, just because I don't trust eating those mushrooms. Although I may not have any other choice. I'm definitely gonna have to start eating some berries soon. Just pick some mushrooms soon, because I don't really see any other choice. Alright, let me see. Come here, rabbit! Dang it. I'm definitely gonna have to start crafting some weapons. Or maybe traps to catch the rabbits, I don't know. We're definitely gonna need some traps or anything, or something. Uh, let me see, can I actually eat? Okay, so these can only be discarded, they can be eaten raw. But these ones can be eaten raw. There we go. Alright, hopefully I didn't do a bad decision by doing that. Uh, let me grab this. No berries though, still. I wonder if we can actually plant some and grow some some berries. Oh, is that water? Hold up, I have a feeling we're actually going to be able to fish. You know what? That's exactly it. Look at this place. Oh my god. I mean, come on. Can you not like this game? What? This is gorgeous. I mean, I am a big third-person player, that's for sure. Uh, I really wish that there was a third-person game mode for this one, but... I can still enjoy it as is, that's for sure. Can I go inside the water? Oh, we are swimming. Interesting. Although... The temperature is going down when you're swimming. So we are going to have to pay attention on that. Alright, there we go. We are out of the water. And I think the temperature is going back up. At least I hope so. Alright, let me see. I think I saw something. Oh yeah, I saw something glowing up here. Some more driftwoods. Perfect. Alright, what else? Uh, there were also some berries around here. Right over there. We definitely need to start creating a kitchen. That's gonna have to be something important. Or maybe, uh, maybe we need to start crafting a toolsmith area where we can make ourselves some tools. I don't know, some hammers, some hatchets, 
We're definitely gonna need that. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. Uh, let me see here. What else? What else do we need? To do. Oh, look at that, the birds. Seriously. We gotta learn how to be a little bit more stealthy, I think. Oh god, that's a bee's nest. I don't think that's a good idea to get close to them. Pretty sure it's not a good idea to get too close to them. Uh, we are starving again. Uh, let me eat two of these things. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna need some bee, uh, some honey, but... Because of those bees, I just just want to I just don't want to get too close. All right, and other than this, it looks like we are all good. We're definitely finding a lot of stuff, but I still need more wood though. It doesn't like there's any wood around here, so I may need to look. In a, in a different location. Although I have a feeling I may need to get myself a hatchet to start chopping down some trees. I mean, that's usually the first thing you're doing to in survival games, right? Chopping down trees for wood. Let's see here. I wonder how large the map is, though. I mean, it definitely feels a little bit large so far. Running for too long will burn more energy. The red stamina line indicates when it's time to take a, bre a breather. Ah, interesting. So we just gotta walk so that we regain our energy. I get it. Alright. That's good to know. Uh, let me just keep going this way and see what else we can find. Again, I really hope I'm not gonna come too close to a bear. I think it's gonna be a reaver, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at that, another rabbit! There's so many! Definitely need something to start hunting, that's for sure. Let's see here, what else? What do we got here? Uh, I do see some more stuff, some more branches over here. But again, I need bigger woods, not just branches. And we're also starving again. Uh, let me eat some more stuff. There we go. Alright, and I think we got to a small river here. Or a waterfall, actually. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure we are going to be able to catch some fishes in these waterfalls, in these rivers, actually. Wow, look at that opening. Are you serious? That is so good. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. Ruby Beat. I mean, I think this is the same river I've explored a few minutes ago. Um, but I do want to keep on going this way and see what else I can find. I don't know how late it is, though. I do want to go back home really soon and see if I can build something. But I know for sure that I didn't get enough wood for the constructions that I need. So maybe I'm not ready to do anything there just yet. Oh, God. I don't want to get close to that. I don't know how close you can get to those bees, but I don't want to I don't want to test it out. Just want to get up here for a second and see what else we can do. Man, this place looks awesome. All right, there we go. More food here. And of course, we are starving again. Hold up. Can we actually eat this ruby beet? Enjoy the tender flesh of juicy beet. Unfortunately, these ones, we cannot eat them raw, which really sucks. Uh, these ones we can. 
but cook there even better. Let me just eat one right now. Just like that. And, um, keep on going. Oh, rabbits are floating. <laughs> Alright, we got some moss. I know that we needed some moss in order to build up something. Oh, can I actually catch these rabbits? Hmm. I definitely glitched in here, but... I think that because I don't really have anything to catch them, to strike them down, I believe that's why I cannot really catch them right now. Uh, that looks like a freaking cave. And I have a bad feeling about this. I feel like there's gonna be a bear close to that cave, so... Uh, let me just get the heck out of here. I definitely don't want to deal with any bears right now. Still, I don't really have much. And uh, I'm not going to be able to protect myself from any bears. Also, I don't think you can outrun the bear. <laughs> Pretty sure you cannot. Alright, let me see here. Uh, we got quite a lot of stuff. And I think for today we should be good. Uh, but again, I do want to get some more wood and nails. So that I can get my construction going. Oh, there we go. Driftwood. Perfect. Alright, let me start going back home. And also, keep looking around. Maybe I missed something around here. I mean, it looks like stuff is pretty easy to find in the game since uh, they're glowing like this. I mean, look at this. It's pretty easy to see stuff that you can gather. Oh, these look different. Dotty mushrooms. I mean, the dotty mushrooms are definitely going to be poisonous, that's, that's for sure. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to use them on something else. I don't know. Maybe crafting some arrows, poisonous arrows or something like that. I don't even know what you can do in this game. All I know is that this is a survival game. But uh, that's about it. Alright, let me go on the right side here again. Maybe I can fight some more stuff. Sticks. And we are going to start starving again. Yep, just as I thought. Uh, can I actually eat some of these beets? No. Let me eat this then. Oh, there we go. More moss. There we go. Hmm. I mean, we got back to this place. But again... Since we don't have a hatchet, I'm not going to be able to break these open. Dang it. Really have to give myself a hatchet somehow. I think I'm going to keep on looking this way the next day. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do that. Just because it looks like there's quite a lot of stuff in this section. Not to mention, we definitely need a uh, lockpick or something to open up those crates. Alright, let me look around here. Maybe I can find some more wood. Alright. Ah, oh, sticks. We cannot because we got an inventory pool. Alright, well, you know what? In that case, let me let me make my way back home. And uh, get rid of all this stuff. Or at least try to figure out what else I need in order to keep on building the house. Alright, there we go. We are back home. Now, let's see. We do have the driftwood for this one, but we still need some more for planks. Uh, we don't have any f any bolts, though. Uh, nails, steel wire, and again, for planks. This one is the storage attic. Crafting room. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to be able to actually create the crafting room. Hold up. Let me see here. Uh, let me put all the sticks in here. This. Let me grab this, uh, nails, and the wires as well. I think I need the wires. Alright, let me see. Can I actually create this? Oh, we need some more fur planks, though. Hmm, we need four more. And after I'm done with this one, I believe this is how you actually start crafting your tools. Interesting. Uh, hold up, we gotta eat something because we are kind of, <clears throat> we are kind of starving here. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Can I actually grab that? 
Let me see here. Let me eat this. Let me also go... Oh, wait until nighttime. All right, I get it. That makes sense. Uh, the thing is, I really wanted to give myself some more food. So, we do need for planks. That's the most important thing that we need to find still. Uh, let me put these in here then. This as well, this one. I'm also going to leave the ones that are poisonous, just so that we don't accidentally eat them. Alright, and I believe that's about it. We don't really need anything else from uh, from this place. Alright then, come on night time. I need to go to sleep. Oh, too hungry to sleep. Seriously? Tank it. There we go. Can I sleep now? Yes, we can. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Day three. And I knew the hair started. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Now, for this day, I will keep on going... I think... Uh, hold up, can I grab that piece of wood? No. Yeah, I think this day I am gonna keep on going that on this side. Just because I do need to get myself some more planks. I don't know how to find them, where to find them, but... Hopefully, they are gonna be somewhere. Let me see here. I mean, I'm pretty sure the easiest way to grab these planks is to simply get ourselves a hatchet and start chopping down some trees. But, uh, since I don't have anything, I'm gonna have to pray to God that I'm gonna be lucky. Uh, let me eat something. There we go. Come on, please, please, I need some planks. Just four more. I'm not asking for much. I need to get myself a crafting... A crafting bench. And I'm pretty sure if I get that, then I'm gonna be able to start doing a lot of stuff. Alright, let me grab this. Hmm. I mean, I don't see any planks around. So, I don't know. All I can do right now is hope that I'm going the right way. Alright, so this one is definitely going to have bees. Which I'd love to get, but once again, I'm a little bit afraid to get too close to it. Hmm. Let's see here. Man, we're going so deep in the forest, though. I don't like this. I definitely do not like this. Oh, what is this? These are some new things. Huh. Alright, let's grab them. I don't know what these are gonna do for me, but... Hopefully they are going to be useful, because we did get quite a few of them. Alright, let's see. Come on, where's the wood? And I think I hear another river. Going all the way down here. Oh, hold up, is that a crate? I think it is, yeah. There's quite a few of them here. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. This is where we're gonna be able to find some more stuff. Alright, let me search this. And bolts, nails, old rags. Uh, firewood. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to carry much stuff though. But I'm really happy that we find this, that we found this, this deserted place. Uh, turnip seeds. No more space in inventory. Hmm. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna come after it later on. For now, we need all the planks that we can get. These are the most important ones. And again, I cannot grab that because we don't have enough space. Ah, so lucky. So lucky that we found this. And what the heck? Oh, that's a blueprint! 
This item is now available for crafting. Lockpick, blueprint found. No way! Seriously? So now we're gonna be able to craft something in order to open up these boxes. Oh man. That is so good that we found, that we found this place. Alright, so apparently we found these planks. Whatever, there's a building that crashed or something like that. Hmm, that is good to know. Alright, let me make my way back home then, because I'm pretty sure we got all we need now in order to expand our home a little bit. Oh, so happy. And not to mention, this one is really high up. Look at this. That's why we couldn't come here, because we had to go the other way around. I get it. Alright, not bad at all. Uh, we are also starving, so let me eat just one of these. Why not? And hopefully really soon, buddy. Hopefully really soon I am going to be able to give myself some tools and then start grabbing some rabbits and eat some real food. Just because we've been surviving on shrooms for three days now. And I definitely, definitely want to change this. Alright, let me make my way through here. And look at that. Our little home. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Look at this. It looks beautiful, actually. So beautiful. Alright, um, hopefully we can now expand this. Let's see. So, uh, what do we need? We need... Let's remove these. Let's start combining everything we can. And now, let me grab these in my inventory. Let me grab this, this. Uh, I think I needed some of this as well. And, look at that. We can now build this thing. There we go. Crafting room. Features unlocked. Crafting tools, resources, and objects. Got it. Oh my god, no way! We actually expanding the cabin itself. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. It is much bigger now. <laughs> oh man, I'm loving this. Alright, let me see. Can I actually get myself a hatchet or something? So, um... Steel wire. We definitely can craft some, apparently. Reinforced planks. Glue, steel wires, man, so much stuff. Uh, tools, woodsman axe. Well, you know what? I think this is the first object that we need to create. Uh, but we need to get to some ropes from here, and we do have four of them. Exactly what we need. There we go. Craft item. All right, uh, woodsman axe. Grab. Oh, there we go. We finally have something here to use and maybe start getting ourselves some more woods. Kidding me? Uh, hold up, let me eat something. We're starving. Let me see, what else can we craft? A map. What? So we need old rags and black mulberries. I mean, I don't think we have any more. I think we actually consumed all of them, right? Yeah, we definitely consumed all of them, which is really unfortunate. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to save some whenever I get some then. Just because we definitely need ourselves a map. And not to mention, look at this, we can also cre create a compass. Uh, health, medkit. What? Are you kidding me? Hold up. I think I'm gonna need a medkit. That is more important. Uh, but again, we need rags. Let me see here. Let me create a medkit. Craft item. There we go. Perfect. We now have a med kit. How do I use it, though? I don't even know. Oh, that's how I use it. Okay. Uh, let me put those rags back in here just because I don't want to waste them. And let me see what I need to craft this. So we need... Oh, crap. We need quite a lot of these fur planks, though. But now that we have the hatchet, I have a feeling I can grab them. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually cut down a tree. Oh, my God. We can. What? Come on, get it down. There we go. No freaking way, and this is giving me exactly what we need. What? This game is so fun. I love it. The art style of this game is definitely something that I've never experienced in a survival game, that's for sure. Uh, let me cut down another tree here. Hmm. Apparently, you cannot really hold down on click here. You gotta keep on clicking in order to chop the trees down. 
All right, there's another one. There you go, buddy. Give me all the sticks and everything that you can give me. Oh, that is awesome. All right, let's get another one. Uh, we're also really starving, so I am going to have to get that sorted really soon as well. There we go. Oh, don't fall in the house. What the heck? <laughs> I just built it. That would have been really sad if the house would get destroyed, though. <laughs> Imagine that happening. All right, uh, let me chop some more. Why the heck not? Let's finish up this day by simply getting a lot of wood. We all know that this is the main ingredient that you need in a survival game. There we go, and we are actually full on our inventory. That is crazy. Um, can I actually replace these? Hmm, we cannot. Uh, restack. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to leave this one here and come back after it. Uh, let me just get all the wood that we just got back inside the house. Uh, just because it's getting really late outside right now. Uh, do we have enough? Yes, we have. Look at this. We can expand again. Storage attic. Uh, storage, you now got four extra storage boxes. New extension, sewing room. Oh my god, are you serious right now? We can actually go upstairs? What? We got so much storage, I love it. And I do believe that I want to put only wood in here. Or, hmm, you know what, but let's put food elements in here instead. Uh, let me put this. Uh, let me grab the wood and get this stuff all the way upstairs in instead. Just because I want to have the food really close to the kitchen. Let's see. Let's put all the planks in here. And this stuff, of course. Only wood elements are going to go in here. Uh, other materials like rags and wires are going to go inside there. Uh, let me also go outside and grab that other piece of wood that we just dropped. Uh, what was it? Oh, there we go. Oh man, I love it. Can I also chop down this tree? Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. So apparently you can only chop down the large trees. These one right here. These ones right here. Or yep, there we go. Come on, buddy. There we go, we got it. And this is definitely gonna be it for today. I'm not gonna chop down any more trees. We got enough for today. Not to mention it's getting really, really late right now. And uh, I don't want to find out what's happening outside. But look at our home, man. I mean, it's already so freaking big. What more do you want? Look at this. Are you kidding me? This game is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think now that we got the understanding of how the game really works... I think we're going to have to end up the episode right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, we are going to keep on exploring the game and uh, see what else we can find. Of course, there is the survival element to it that we got to pay attention to. We got to eat a lot. We got to make sure we do not starve to death. And also, I think we're going to have to make sure we do not get hurt and bandage whenever we need to or not get poisoned. I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Among Trees. I really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if it did, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, do consider doing that. As I'm definitely going to be posting more Among Trees videos in the future. Alright, stay safe everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!